All right, who's ready to get some more building done? Hey there guys, Erica here from High 49 RC. Today is Saturday. It is still overcast with smoke. And we're working on my touring car once again. This is all I've been filming. I don't really know why I introduced it that much, but I do. Oh well. <laughs> um, so yeah, last time we got this chassis, or we have improved upon this chassis. We have some steering action going on there. We've also got our spur gear mount and motor mount in this general area assembled. Today, as you can see, we actually have a whole lot of wrenching to do. So I'm going to do my best to do a lot of it off camera and then do really detailed close-ups for you guys so that for those of you who are building along can see what I'm doing. And also before we get started, I want to address an issue that or a mistake that I made in episode one. Um, I'm also going to go and put it in the description of that video, but we in episode one we built these differential components, and I said that um, one set needed. Okay, so these guys are basically chain ten or belt tensioners. They're cammed belt tensioners, and there's a set labeled A and a set labeled B. I thought that the both of the A's went on one and both of the B's went on the other. I was wrong. A goes on one side, B goes on the other. So I wanted to address that because we are going to be using these in today's episode, um, and I didn't want to confuse anybody that is building along with me. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and just start putting some stuff together, not filming it, um, because there's a lot to do today, like I said, but I'm going to do my best to give some really detailed close-ups uh, as I go along the sections, so yeah, stay tuned and enjoy. This is the front bulkhead cover and shock tower assembly. As you can see here, there's a aluminum spacer between these two pieces with M3 by 8 flathead screws going into either side. This is the carbon fiber shock tower with the these ball joints are the ones without threads on them, or without a threaded end on them, using cap head screws on the back side to attach them, and they are in the center hole, as you can see. The instructions tell you to put it in the center there. And then these ones are the ball joints with the threads on the end, and they have underneath them one of these little round black aluminum spacers. I believe it will be similar on the next one, but I will have to take a look. And also, um, to note, this shape of shock tower is the front, and then this one is going to be the rear. Here is the rear bulkhead, pretty much identical to the front one over here. The only real difference is the position that these guys are in. These guys are in the one, two, three, fourth hole from the inside, so if you count, it's basically three open holes and then you put it in, as you can see there. That's really the only difference between the two. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Now we get to move on to installing the bulkheads on the chassis. Here are the front bulkheads installed. Now, a thing to note is that you want this type of pattern to be facing towards the arms and you want the like recessed curve to be facing the inside so that basically you want this surface facing each other on the bulkheads I hope that makes sense um, but yeah so I'm gonna do the next part on camera so that you guys can see um, for the front we're gonna be using the locked differential or like the solid axle and it's going to go this way. So the, the uh, what's it, tooth sprocket, I guess you could call it, is going to be on the passenger side in the US, the passenger side of the vehicle. All right, it's gonna slot down into there like that. And then these little guys, these little tabs that you can see turning, are actually adjusters. And they are going to go through on the fourth hole down from the top and they do click, which is also really nice. So basically you set it like that and then you grab two of these itty bitty little screws. Sorry, you can't see that. Two of those little guys. Nope, can't see that either. 
those little screws and basically you run those into the holes on the outside and what that does is it locks basically the belt tension in place and that's the default tensioning from that they tell you to do in the book is fourth hole down from the top oh wait I should probably put the belt around the pulley first that would also be useful I think okay there that looks a little bit better now that we have the belt on there and so now we're gonna move the little adjusters down to the fourth hole down from the top and that's where we are going to put the screw in There you have it. There is the pulley properly tensioned. Like I said, that's the default tensioning from the factory. And the other thing is that because those screws are so small, this side actually did not cinch into the plastic very well, like this side did, so you gotta be real careful when you're tightening them down. Just a point to note. Now I assume we're basically gonna do likewise on the rear. Nope, I forgot one thing. The last Thing, the truly last thing that you're going to do is you're going to install your bulkhead cover like so using button head screws in the top. Pretty straightforward. Just like so. Of course I'll put the other three in off camera but then that is your front bulkhead belt assembly done. Alright here's the two rear bulkheads Basically same thing as the front. We're gonna take our uh, actual differential, that's gonna be the thing in the rear, and loop it into the belt, set it down into the bulkheads, and again, we are adjusting it to be on the fourth one or three from the top on both sides. And once we do that, we can install our uh, shock tower, which actually I just noticed I put together wrong. <laughs> but basically exactly the same to the front. What I did wrong is these guys are supposed to be on the other side, but no big deal. Fix that real quick. Um, and yeah, that's that. Alright, here's a couple close-ups. So you guys can get a good idea of what exactly is going on. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've made some seriously good progress today. Got a lot of stuff going on. Everything is functioning quite nicely. I'm really happy with the way that feels. Everything's nice and smooth. Um, yeah, really nothing to note. We've got a few extra parts, but uh, got like servo horns and some other miscellaneous stuff. And the next step says it to that it's like a combination of bags four and five. So we'll get into that next time. So. That being said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if you want to get notified of the next video that comes out, make sure you hit that notification bell. Set notifications to all. Also, subscribe while you're at it. You might as well. Your, your cursor is already going to be right there. Um, uh, smash that like button. Comment down below how you think it's coming along. I'm seriously liking it. Also, I didn't mention, these are carbon fiber shock towers, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, also follow me on Instagram at highway49 underscore rc. And with that being said, I'm going to call it quits for today, and I'll see you guys next time.